California is currently experiencing a historic drought. It's the, one of the driest years on record. It's also 2014 is the hottest year on record. We thought it was very important to uh, understand how the redwood trees and forests were responding. So we initiated a study in the Santa Cruz Mountain region in order to examine those effects. We're looking at the edges of the range, and at the edge of the range where things are kind of pushed right up to what they can tolerate, this is where we expect to see some of the biggest changes. We identified two different sites in the Santa Cruz Mountains region to compare how the trees were doing. One site was close to the coast, that's Henry Cowell Redwood State Park, and another site which was further inland, which is a warmer and drier site, the Miller Property County Park, just north of Boulder Creek. Henry Cowell not only has its ancient redwood forest, but it has three other ecosystems as well. The riparian ecosystem, the sandhill ecosystem, and the grassland meadows at the entrance. We have noticed drought conditions uh, in the past couple years, but specifically in this past year. Some of the docents notice that the Douglas fir and the redwoods are dropping their cones earlier as well as underdeveloped. This would be a small fir cone. That's small. Uh, and yet uh, this year I have seen some like this. We don't really look at the top of the redwoods. All we can really see is the base. We're under the trees, they're marvelous. Uh, but if it throws something down, we see it. We're focusing on Douglas fir and the California Bay laurel in addition to redwoods as target species that provide sort of a broader perspective of the redwood ecosystem itself and how it's going to be responding to the current drought. The most important measurement that we wanted to make was uh, assessment of the water status of the trees. We found that the trees were actually quite stressed, uh, more stressed than we've ever measured in the redwoods before. trees at the, the Miller Property County Park, further inland, the warmer and drier site, were definitely more stressed than the trees at Henry Cowell, closer to the coast and a foggier, cooler site. Modelers in particular have been really looking at what they expect drought to do under this increased temperature and changes in precipitation. And the modeling results all suggest that indeed drought is going to be something that we're going to see a lot more of as we march into the future. Redwood trees in particular are very resilient to drought, especially the very large and old ones. They've dealt with severe droughts in the past. We don't know what the long-term consequences of this drought are going to be, but we plan to go back to measure the growth of the trees over the last several years to see how the drought affected their growth. And we hope to continue this into the coming year or two to see how the trees might be responding, potentially recovering if the drought uh, stops in 2015, or if it continues, how the trees will be responding to prolonged drought in the future.